Hey everybody, today I'm going to discuss about electrician math and basic formula. This is the fundamentals of all electrical theory and practice. If you can understand this, it will give you knowledge to all electrical topic. So let's get into it. Converting percentage to decimal. For example, 75% convert this to decimal. Divide 75 by 100, this can also be written as 75 slash 100 or 75 divided by 100. The result is 0.75, meaning that 75% is the same as 0.75. Question number one. The passing score of journeyman electrician is 70%. A. 0.07 B. 70 C. 0.70 What is the equivalent percentage of 0.07? A. 0.7% B. 70% C. 7% C. 7% Next question. Converting fractional to decimal. Divide the denominator, the bottom part, into the numerator, the top part. This is the, this is the enumerator and this is the denominator. So 1 divided by 4 is equals 0.25. Example. What is the equivalent unit from fraction to decimal? One third. Answer. A. 0.33 B. 0.35 C. 0.30 0.33 A is the answer. Next. What is the equivalent unit from fraction to decimal? 3 4 A. 0.70 B. 0.75 C. 0.30 C, 70. The answer is 0.75. Next, a decimal to fraction. Starting from the decimal point, count the decimal places. If there, are, if there is one decimal place, put the number over 10 and reduce. If there are two places, put the number over 100 and reduce. If there are three places, put it over 1,000 and reduce, and so on. Example, 0.50 equals 50 divided by 100 is equals 1 half. Question, what is the equivalent unit from decimal to fraction of 0.25? A, 1 half. B, 3 quarter. C, 1 fourth. Answer is one fourth. Basic formula for electrical and electronics. Name, units, and formula. Voltage. The unit of voltage is volts, and the formula is V is equals I times R. Current, the unit is ampere. The formula is equals I is equals V over R. Resistance, ohms. R is equals V over i let's go to the next so if you if you just want to learn this just continue reading next is ohm's law pi chart for example if we are going to find watts and our known value is voltage and current so this is our formula so just look at it if uh, if you need something or if you want to learn just look the next is resistor in series and parallel. So this is the formula for uh, series resistor. R total is equals R1 plus R2 plus Rn. And this is the parallel resistor. 1 over R total is equals 1 over R plus 1 over R2 uh, into 1 over Rn. For our capacitor and inductor formula, this is the formula in series of a capacitor. Just look into it. And this is the formula of parallel capacitor. Just You just need to add. And for inductor, 
the formula for inductor in series is equals L total is equals L1 plus L2 plus Ln. Inductor in parallel is this is the same as in uh, parallel in uh, resistance. Next, this is the formula to find horsepower, uh, kilowatt, and kVA. AC single phase and this is AC three phase. For example, find the current with known horsepower. If we are going to find the current with a known horsepower, for example, 7 horsepower. So we have 7 horsepower here. We're just going to multiply it with 746 because we know that 1 horsepower is equal to 746 watts. For example, our voltage is 230 volts. So we're going we're gonna to put here 230, vol 230 volts efficiency, for example, 0.90. And our power factor is 80% or 0.8. Then if we are going to calculate it, we can find the current. The same as if we are going to find kilowatt, this is the formula. And to find kVA and to find the horsepower. This is very useful formula. So if you need something, just watch it and uh, watch over and over again. Then you will know the formula if you have a test. So this is very good formula or if you need something. This is the applications of the formula that we discussed previously. Example, a 3.5 kilowatt motor with a voltage of 230 volts. What is the current? Power formula. P is equals voltage times current. So we are just going to transpose. <clears throat> I is equals P over V. 3,500 because we know that 1 kilowatt is 1000 watts so 3500 watts over 230 volts so the answer is current is 15 amperes next question a 5 kilowatt motor how many horsepower we know that 1 kilowatt is 1000 watts in order to find horsepower oh <laughs> this one is 5 kilowatt so this is 5000 watts so 5000 watts we know that 1 horsepower is 746 watts. So in order to cancel the watts, so 5,000 divided by 746, the result is 6.7 horsepower. Just follow the formula. Next, a three-piece lamp connected in series having a resistance of 3, 5, and 9 ohms. What is the total resistance? As we discussed before, our uh, resistor in series, so this is just like addition. R3 is equals 359, so our resistance is 17 ohms. Next, a 7 horsepower single phase motor connected to a 230 volts. What is the current? We know that 1 horsepower is equals to 746 watts. Power is equals P is equals V times I. We're going to transpose it. I is equals P over B. 7 horsepower times 746 watts because our known is 7 horsepower. We know that 1 horsepower is 746 watts, so we're just going to times it. 7 times 746 is equals to 5,222 watts. We're going to divide it with a voltage with a result of 23.73 amperes. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe and like. Have a good one.